हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर योगेश आई अगेन वेलकम यू टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन इन जेनेटिक्स एंड मॉलिकुलर बायोलॉजी अंडर द सेम कॉम्पिटेंसी बी आई सेवन पॉइंट फोर विच डील्स विद रिकॉमिन डी एन ए टेक्नोलॉजी एंड रिलेटेड टेक्निक्स वी सो फार हैव कवर रिकॉमिन डी एन ए टेक्नोलॉजी कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ रिकॉमिन डी एन ए वी हैव डिस्कस द अपलिकेशन ऑफ रिकॉमिन डी एन ए टेक्नोलॉजी ऑल्सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस जीन लाइब्ररी सो कमिंग टू जीन लाइब्ररी it is what by the combination of restriction enzymes and various cloning vector now we have entire dna of an organism which can be packed into suitable vector so after the human genomic dna is subjected to a variety of maybe even a single restriction enzyme may cut human genomic dna into numerous restriction fragments and we have so many restriction uh, enzymes which have different different specific restriction sites and you can have an imaginable number of restriction fragments and those restriction fragments can be incorporated into bacterial plasmids or cosmids and we can have a suitable vector and these genes can be you know uh, tra- transferred to the cell of interest a collection of these recombinant clone is called as gene library so the collection of clones not the collection of restriction fragments so remember when these recombinant dna through the agency of vector is incorporated into cells and the cells are cloned these collection of cloned cell is called as gene library and the gene library can be of two types one is genomic library and uh, another one is cdna library coming to genomic library a genomic library is prepared from total dna of a cell line or tissue so it is developed or derived from a total dna of a particular cell line each cell line has a differentiated features like bone cell is different like uh, marrow cell is different uh, your skin cells are different why there are differences because a certain genes are expressed though the total dna is same the certain genes are expressed in that particular cell line and you find a different proteins and a different morphological features of a cell the total dna of a cell line a particular cell line or maybe a tissue will constitute a genomic library and it is prepared by performing partial digestion of total dna with restriction enzymes okay so random 100 kilo base pair genomic region is subjected to different different uh, restriction enzymes and it was partially digested and we obtain a set of clone of uh, cells which have a particular gene sequence of interest so like here the clones from a genomic library with 20 kilo base pair insert that come from this region so it contains a part of gene a maybe the second set will contain parts of gene b and c third contains all gene c and contains only exon of gene a so we can have a variety of uh, sequences in our cloned cells and the desired sequence can be incorporated and applied through recombinant dna technology and specifically because it is total dna of a cell which is subjected to the digestion we need to use phage vectors which are ideal and preferred for this because they accept large pieces of dna up to 20 kilo base pairs and coming to the cdna library after discussing genomic library this cdna library is a set of cloned cells which represent the population of mrnas in a tissue so now understand the differences between genomic library and cdna library as the name suggest it is cdna so definitely it is going to be derived from reverse transcription from mrna so mrnas can be identified in a tissue and subjected to reverse transcription now what we are doing here is we are now specific because once it is mrna so it has excluded all the introns and we can have a set of sequences derived from the mrna which are present at a particular instance in a cell right and all the proteins which are produced in that particular cell can be identified and can be retraced back to the genetic level with the help of cdna library because we are now excluding junk junk of dna in the form of introns and maybe enhancers inducers insulators etc we want only exons so this cdna library will represent only exons in a genetic sequences of a particular tissue cdna libraries are prepared by first isolating all the mrnas in a tissue 
right and mrna serves as a template to prepare the dna using reverse transcriptase and dna polymerase in subsequent steps that we have discussed you can go back to the video on reverse transcription and understand again how cdna is constructed from a mrna a full length of complemented dna copies are usually not obtained and smaller dna fragments are cloned so the necessary sequences only are cloned and junk material we exclude from our cdna library so here in this diagram you can see that brain cdna library and liver cell dna cdna library our libraries are tissue specific genomic libraries are cell line specific or tissue specific but there we use total dna of a particular cell line or a tissue here we use mrna and form cdna and here we use plasmids which are the ideal and preferred vectors for cdna libraries as they are workable with smaller fragments increasing length of a genetic sequences we you prefer to use plasmids bacteriophages and cosmids okay so here to have cdna library and to construct cdna library we use plasmids and these are the ideal and preferred vectors for cdna libraries so please understand the difference between differences between genomic library and cdna library this question may be asked as an mcq or as a brief answer question or may be a part of your set of mcqs these cdna libraries contain relatively smaller dna fragments compared to genomic libraries so now again i will tell you the differences between genomic library and cdna library are important so be aware of the differences and the type of questions which may be asked based on this particular session thank you so much these are the references uh, which are used for compilation of the entire lecture series please refer i recommend you to refer to, to these uh, references for further and deeper studies thank you so much once again for watching the short video and uh, hope you are subscribed to the channel if not i recommend and request you to subscribe to the channel for to get notifications about upcoming videos in this channel thank you so much once again and keep motivating us